yes, a portal joke. I already put a lot of effort into the Echo Arena one. This is what you get this time. In the meantime, enjoy this video. First try, Lone Echo. There we go. I'm convinced now. Okay. <clears throat> Welcome on. All right, digging the tunes. Digging the. T this is Echo Arena. Oh, oh! I can get to it from. Okay, I'm like I had no idea. Like I didn't even mean to click. That wasn't. That was a misfire. You know, my trigger finger got got a little uh, itchy, so I had to scratch it. Apparently. Okay. Welcome to Lone Echo. So I have been looking forward to this for a while. Finally a good opportunity to play it. I have not played this at all. I haven't watched anyone play this other than, you know, the trailers on the Oculus website. Resolution and it, yeah, we'll keep those things. But uh, let's... I hate to go low. See, I don't know how low to go, you know? Like Limbo. But yeah, I just don't want any recording issues. I, I'm running a NVIDIA 1080, uh, no, no, NVIDIA 1060 with the three gigabyte RAM built in. So uh, it's been great. And playing this game, I'll, I'll play it on the higher graphics. I just can't record. <laughs> so I'm gonna give this a shot. New game, here we go. Game start. Game start. Okay. Ominous noises. Oh, okay. Oh, am I gonna have to do training? As long as it's something new from Echo Arena. Terra, open a new voice log entry. Hmm. Recording. Okay. All right. This is Captain Nick no. Rhodes. Personal log entry for 7 of October it's me. 21, 26. This will be my final week aboard Kronos 2. In just a few days, I'll be leaving mm. Saturn behind and making my way to my new assignment on Okay. Space. A bit odd, actually, saying it out loud. From one of the trailers, I know a little bit of the story. That she's alone, isolated, at Saturn, doing work. And I am her robo-companion. Even that's just... <laughs> Anyway, all mining sites are running smoothly. Overnight harvest totals are there is a uh, oh, steam powered giraffe song that's uh, going through my mind right now. Oh, uh, what was it called? Good. Automatonic electronic. Hera, pause recording. Hey You're not a robot, you're a human. I'm not used Morning, to this. Sunshine. Hey. And how are we feeling today? Hmm. I don't have a pulse. Jack, are you with me? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Hera, Is this thing on? Let's go ahead and run Jack's calibration program. Acknowledged. <clears throat> right. In you go, Jack. I'll see you in a few. Whoa, okay. No, no! Okay. <laughs> Module D22. <laughs> I look forward to the and video of that. that. That felt like it should be a little bit horrific. <laughs> Okay, we're doing this. That's fine. That's fine. Central AI for the Kronos two orbital. So I'm her AI and I get my own AI. Awesome. First, close your hand to form a fist. Now send your index finger. Oh cool, I can go sub Oh that's new. Use your index finger. Press the button in front of you. Oh, I love it. Okay, yes. Now reach out and grab the glowing disc that just appeared. That's kind of like with bowling when you kind of do the two underhanded thing. It's a wimpy throw. I can't get out. No, it's going dark. Basic motor function. Well, I am built with motors. Please pull the handle above you to exit the activation pod. Got it. This labor unit will guide you through the module. Now carefully follow it by pulling yourself through the environment so, using any solid surface. Oh, 
Please take your He's a ghost. I'm right here. I'm right here. That is trippy. Go on in. Now, how do you do that? How do I do that? I mean, with this, oh, that was a wimpy throw. And relief to glide to the exit. Calibration <laughs> module M two o five. Maneuvering thrusters. So, are they holograms in a VR? Kind of an Inception deal. Activate That's new. Left thruster. Activate right thruster. Okay, so I have limited uh, thrust. Now please exit the activation pod and use your maneuvering thrusters to reach the door ahead. Oh, uh, these are wimpy. I'm not the deluxe combat model, am I? Now navigate the environment using only your maneuvering thrusters. All right. Not grab any surfaces during this test. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, I lost balance just a little bit. Calibration module complete. Module C one eleven. Communication. Mm-hmm. Communication is good. I'm all about communication. Even if no one understands me. When someone speaks to you, a reply notification may appear above your wrist. Oh, cool. A lot of games have that. I was wondering. Button on either hand and selecting a reply with your index finger. Hold down the dialogue button now. Uh, what it? Yeah, that had no function in Arena. Okay. Input confirmed. Now hold down the dialogue button and select a reply. Ooh, I can switch hands. Like this? Like this. Correct. Local Who said that? In Arena, I hate the stupid thing. <laughs> See, this is the interesting thing. I, if you're holding on, you're moving the universe. <laughs> I think that's neat. Would you like to proceed to the next module? Hmm... Yes. I'm ready to proceed. Oh, that was a. It kept getting away from me there. That was a little awkward. Module A one three one. All right. So this is pretty much new stuff compared to uh, the tutorial for the other one. Uh oh. Um. Is something going down? Like. Yeah, I've been in here this whole time. Hey, we okay? Subject for our initial test runs. This is crap. I'm one Jack? Sup? Sorry, I have to go. Chronos two out. I got nothing. Hey. Sup, human friend. What happened? Mm. My calibration program crashed. We'll go with that. I appear to be stuck in the activation pod. That's odd. Your diagnostic program. This feels never weird. Flat out crashed before. Well, I've never had a human controlling me. Release procedures. In the event of activation pod failure, Titan Protocol recommends performing a complete power cycle of the pod, followed by a level three inspection of. Yes. That works. You're set. Thank you, boss. Listen about my conversation with command. Mm -hmm. How much did you overhear? Not much. Well, <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm just going to put it out there. All right. You're no longer coming with me to Silly's. What do you oh. mean? The directors want you to take over oh. my duties as commander of the station. It'll just be you and the labor unit. No humans. So this is our last week together. <laughs> I'm kind of like trying to puppeteer it to fit with yeah. the... I mean, I could go crazy, but... Oh. Look, I'm okay. They just hit me with this news a few minutes ago. I mean, come on, splitting us up. I, I never mm. even considered it a possibility. Not entirely. Activating sad.exe. Except. Mm. I'm sorry, Jack. So am I? Am I alive at all? Mm. There's no need to apologize, Olivia. While the situation is. Unfortunate. It's not your fault. <laughs> this is turning into a performance. I haven't had an experience like this. This is... This is awesome. Why don't you go 
activate the bridge while I pull the overnight. Can't be there. All right. How do I activate the bridge? Oh, is that it? Okay. I'll be right back. I'm afraid if I activate the thingy, I won't get to play around with any of this other stuff. So let's play with stuff. That was slow. Get this out of here. Who needs it? All right, so that's me. First her. 23 to 11. It would appear I'm going to win. Again. Now hold on. At this? I've got seven days. Plenty of time to stage my epic comeback. Considering the significant difference between our two scores and given your win-loss record, I would estimate the odds of you staging an epic comeback are approximately mm. 3,725 to 1. Wow, Jack, that is... That is just some of the worst trash talk I've ever heard. Ha. <laughs> What's up? Attachment detected. <laughs> Can't detect in Echo Arena. You have no idea someone's there. Unit 12, are those repairs on schedule? Affirmative. Data network maintenance will be completed by 0930 on October 8th, 21. 26. Acknowledged. Good for you. Keep it up, buddy. Really wish my air brake was working. I feel weird without it. Hmm. No idea what this is. Jack, where are you going? Where I want. Controls to activate the bridge are at the front of the ship. Right. Just give me a moment. Okay, this is series eight. Tors never, never start with a head. Why is the head just like screaming? Where are my limbs? Where are my limbs? I don't know. Oh, what's this? Open. Right, just give me a moment. Button. Wait, damaged Jack. Have you transferred my brain? This echo unit pod is damaged as well. If no echo unit pods are functional and my shell suffers a hardware failure, I would have to revert to an old version of my OS on the station server. Oh, so if I die, I go to another body. I'm uploaded robot break room. <laughs> okay, interesting. So tell me about this one. Fortunately, this backup echo unit appears to be functional. I can transfer to it if necessary. Looks good. Nice. And this is neat. Oh man, Oculus makes the best Oculus games. I'm telling you. So this is just a. Uh, Will you have Series Eight labor units with you on Series? I'm sure. But fortunately, I won't need to rely on them for company with all the other people there. You're not. Maybe units have always been a bit dim. They lack my core learning modules, if that's what you mean. More to it than that, but yeah, that's more or less the gist of it. Hmm. Okay. So apparently, there's two types: me and labor units. Can I download into one of those if I had to? And it sounds like it doesn't have the processing power for my superior virtual brain. <laughs> Okay, I've already seen this, but... <laughs> hmm. Okay, so this is mine. And... Hey, what happened to my last body? I'm not the first Jack, am I? How many have you gone through? Humans. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oh, cool. up could you please activate the bridge when I get to it <laughs> this is awesome <sighs> open ah. come on turn there we go I don't know why I'm having sense I forgot to plug in my <laughs> I'm an idiot I unplugged uh, one of my sensors earlier because I was running out of USB oh I'm surprised it's letting me run I thought I would have gotten a warning or something. See, if I go here. Nope. Okay, now I have two sensors. I was wondering why my tracking was doing bad. Oh. This is, this is better already. Okay. What's a damaged one look like? Oh, well, it's locked. Hmm, why do you get two buttons? 
All right, enough of that. Any new conversations I can have with you? I should activate the bridge. Whoa, you whoa. Upset. Sorry, sorry, didn't mean. You're getting way too good at reading human responses, you know that. Is that a well, problem? I've had a few years of practice. Yeah, it shows. Uh, can I help you? Can I see that? Activation panels just. Can I there? see that? Forward console. Oh. Yeah, all right, I'm going. Oh, new thingy. And is that anything? Don't know. Something about Aska. This hull plate is from Liv's first accident on the station. Unless we experience 22 mm. further incidents in the next week, she will end her tenure as captain with the fewest accidents in Kronos 2's history. A difference of 22? That's pretty noticeable. You don't have any allergies, do you? Liv, if you keep consuming this snack food, you risk getting a cavity. Oh, I can't from peanuts? Are the only thing edible up here. Mm. I could dispose of them if you like. Don't you dare. I just did. Ah, oh, nuts. Are you British? <laughs> Why do you find these creatures appealing? Bulldogs are a symbol of the British spirit. We don't want to know any old <laughs> I actually have a, a bulldog. It's, ah. you know, it's not so very it's British, right. but... This reminds me of a motion sensor bulldog I have. Okay. Wait, are you the reason why there's so many toys in Echo or... Rena? Why is there snow? What's this? Would you like me to archive this list for you? That way we could remove this note. No thanks, I actually like a bit of clutter. Makes it feel more like home. I am well aware of this fact. All right. <laughs> I like Jack. Yes. Based on every known definition of the word, you, Olivia Rhodes, are messy. Nonsense. I've seen no mess here. Just organized chaos. Where's the dog? <laughs> all right, organized chaos. I am all about that. Are they all the same? Okay, no further dialogue. All right, let's activate this thing. Keep Let's activate it. Boop. Transitioning to daytime sight. Whoa. Oh, hey, the doggy uh, stuck on his own. That's neat. Ooh. This is much better. I'm really going to miss this That is pretty cool. In the morning checklist in a bit. Can I what are you drinking? Just give me a moment to soak in this view. All right. Take your time. This is pretty much awesome. Do you happen to know what gives the planet its unique color? Uh, humor her. I do not. Please tell me. Ammonia crystals in the upper atmosphere. True. I'm supposed to be a little human. You're humoring me, aren't you? I know how much you like to answer yeah. your own questions. Thanks, Jack. Oh, okay, <laughs> that scared me a little. Like, I'm gonna go off this Mars. Okay, so... Cripes, that's horrifying. So, what uh, am I supposed to be doing? So, Jack? Yes? I suppose congratulations are in order. Oh, yes. For what? For your promotions. There's really no need for that. Come on now, it's a big deal. You're being... Re two days, you're <laughs> Captain Jack. So, ah. Congratulations. Oh, that's an unfortunate name. <laughs> what I mean is, as an echo unit, I hold no official rank. So technically, I can't be promoted. Right. However you look at it, a robot's taking your job. It's too bad. Captain Jack has quite the ring to it. Also, you are the only person who calls me Jack. To everyone else, I am merely Echo One. Is that your way of saying you're going to miss me? I have no. What was that? Am I Jack, glitchy? Did you feel that? Ooh. That's bad, right? Please tell me you can see that. Uh Affirmative. Yeah. I see it. Any idea what 
It is? I'm afraid no. not. There are no records of any such phenomenon in the Atlas Interplanetary Database. It is an anomaly. Oh, causing me to glitch up a little bit. Ooh. This is cool. Uh, I believe so. You were glitching out. The disturbance briefly disrupted my internal systems, but I'm not reading any permanent damage. Liv, it's possible that anomaly is not entirely stable. You think? Priority alert. The hollow well, temple. Yeah. Something's wrong. Don't point. I'll investigate. Okay. Hera, initiate broad spectrum scan. Focus on the following coordinates. Uh, this is uh, this is awesome. Hmm. Okay, so this is the hollow table, right? So, what am I supposed to do? See no other buttons. Let me see this. It's not being particularly helpful. Oh. Alrighty, alerts. Are there any other buttons anywhere? Alright, so this is the part of the game that had me very frustrated. I could not find out how to turn the thing on. And up to this point, I mean, there wasn't really anything comparable to it, other than a few holographic buttons on tables and during the tutorial. But, uh... Fire up the hollow table and let's get a sit right. Well, I would like to! There's probably something super easy, like snap my fingers or something. Work, 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 work. I got frustrated for a while. But, eventually, system scan in progress, well... Okay. Multiple tier one malfunctions detected. Isolate and identify. Touchy. Saturn orbital. Zone. There we go. We're supposed to fly over there. Orbital mining facility. Okay. Designation Kronos two. Alright, so that's us. We have big sights, I guess, on asteroids. Hmm. Primary. Before depleted, so we're already done over there. Something container field next shipment. Some days nine out. Okay. Central mining station. Mhm. Mm so is that us? Kronos two mining platform. Might be us. Well, it looks different than that little spaceship model we saw earlier. Processing. Malfunctions isolated. Mm. That is a lot of red. Perhaps it's not <laughs> as bad as it looks. Ground fault recorded in the cargo bay. Possible circuit overload. Mm. Reading marked temperature increase in the core containment chamber. Whoa. Lockdown procedures. Okay. In effect. You mind? Power failure reported in primary oxygen garden. Emergency failsafes triggered. What, that's it? That's all we've got to go on. Hera, oh. can you give us an in-depth scan of each affected area? Negative. Unable to establish communication with cube satellites. Um, Wait, find out that goes. the cube sats? What is that? Oh, forget it. Let's just have a look for ourselves. Where are you, bugger? Ah, here we are. Ooh, a thing. A box. Oh. Jack, could you do us a favor and scan this cube stat? Uh, I'll need to calibrate my scanner first. Stand by. Yeah, I never. It'll only be a moment. Yeah, do I have to go back in there? Because we're gonna get the scan thing. Calibrate scan tool. Okay, I guess I. Module A, one, two, is this the one, inside of my brain? Because I'm noticing it's very empty. Your hands. Both of your hands have this functionality. Hmm. Good. Ooh. Now aim this I have a built-in iPhone. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Pull the data tab now. Okay. Oh, that is cool. And back. All set? 
Scanner fully calibrated. Heads up. Thank you. Give that CubeSat a scan. See if you can work out what's wrong with it. Okay. <clears throat> so in my professional opinion, thrusters, thrusters, sensors are offline. Smuggle. Go ahead push this. Oh, okay, it's something. Scan oh. complete. Right. Well, what's the story? Ah, there we go. According to these readings, something was disrupting the mm. CubeSat's ability to communicate with the rest of the sensor network. Interesting. Was? My scanner appears to have reset the CubeSat's transmitters and restored the connection. Oh, well, problem solved. All you have to do is find and scan every last CubeSat we have scattered across the entire facility. Hmm. Sounds like fun. Oh, of course, it would to you. Do I have to do it manually? Send an objective to your arm computer, but consider it low priority for now. Objective received. Neat. Right then, into the real problems. What do you think? What's next? Hmm. Probably Harris, keep status checking of things. Scan, of the anomaly. scan currently three percent complete. Uh, that'll take a little while. The sensor network is attempting to perform a full spectrum scan of an unknown entity. It might take a while. Lovely. Well, in the meantime, we've got three tier one malfunctions that need our attention. So, from my robot perspective, is this a pet? Good idea. I'll need a few minutes to pull today's command ha. codes off my console. You can just keep yourself occupied till then, I'm sure. Of course. Mm, sure. Oh, what do I got? Okay, good one. So this is going to be an ongoing objective. It's going to take a while. Not nearly as many as you acted like, but, you know, humans. And meter activation bay. Yep, yeah, alright. Let's go. Oh, that's a new room. So this is the activation bay? It's like a rec room. It's uh oh, it's one of those uh bouncy castles. Yay! All right, more stuff to interact with. Globe. Earth Terra. Okay. Ankylosaurus. Cool. Hey, it's that ugly thing. Rage fish. Hmm. All right. Where your parents are from. Oh, that's nice. Right. My father never could stop bringing it to places. He never called it by name, though. It was just the city. Hmm. Though it was the only one that had ever existed. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Bed, bed. Fine. What's this? Jack, don't. He did it. Hey! <laughs> That's really old tech. Who would have this? Ah, my fingers. Okay. I'm still not certain how these are used. <laughs> Alright, what was the objective? Uh. You turn the activa. Must be here. Coming. Hmm. Nice to meet you. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> okay, what are we doing? Ready when you are. Come on then. Let's go sort out those malfunctions. Aye aye. Ho -ho -ho. Not the best way to start our last week. Don't believe we've ever seen this many malfunctions all at the same time. Hmm. Another new room. Shouldn't we notify him? We probably should. And tell them what exactly? Hey, everything blew up. Thing terrorizing the station. 
I'd rather we just wait for the results of Herod's scan. Oh, yeah, it's one of these guys. Hmm, where is... Welcome back, little guy. An encrypted audio file. Curious. When the anomaly scrambled the CubeSat, hmm. it inadvertently connected them to a secure Atlas Corporation network. If I scan more of them, I may be able to crack the encryption. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, hey. Is that revenge for your buddy? When I threw him? Yeah, I... The bioregeneration systems in this mm. sector are still functional. That's good. These samples are in no danger. Good. Hopefully the flora in the oxygen garden are also unharmed. Means nothing for me, but the human likes it. Uh... Oh, hey, the darts. <laughs> hey. There we go. Mm -hmm. Hey, get back here. There. Alright. What's down here? Oh, hey, it's the space toy. Whee! This remote control fury transport was left on the station by one of Liv's predecessors. Liv always wanted to find another one so we could race them. <laughs> it seems the Kronos 2 Grand Prix will never occur. Wah wah. I love controlling this. It's basically, whatever direction I point this remote-like device is the... I'm seeing motion down there. What is that? Oh, that's your leg. <laughs> oh, and it's attached to the rest of you. I didn't even notice. I thought you were... Wait, I swear you were up here. If you're down here, who's up here? Oh, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, all right. Oh wait, do we have a leak? It is Oh that's the the remote. Hmm. Here I come. Alright, what do you got? Human? Pretty sure you have a name, but I forgot what it is. Oh, uh, you got it. Unsecured okay. Cargo in the hold. Yeah, that much I worked out. Must have shaken loose. Can you tell me why we have unsecured cargo in the hold? Negative. Okay, well, we might want to look into that. Hmm. All right, Jack. Looks like there's a lot to do this morning. Any priority alerts? Well, it'll be your station soon. Problem do you want to tackle first? Mm -hmm. Send the data to my arm computer. I'll have a look. Standard Atlas Corporation cargo containers. Magnetically secured. Mm. Magnets, huh? I need to open do they the work? Arm computer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Let's see. So, let's... Take a look at your objectives on your arm computer and let me know which one you want to address first. Oxygen garden. I think you need oxygen more than anything. Get out of there. Oh. Uh, look out for that. It's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. Uh, core containment. Hmm. I'm gonna go with oxygen. Hmm. Don't know what that is. Oh. Ah, I see. Let's fix the power failure in the oxygen garden. Okay, follow me. Liv, what is this model doing here? Did something knock that loose? I was going to pack it up so I could take it with me to Sirius. To reiterate, Olivia Rhodes, you are a mess. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. think of myself as spontaneous. Hmm. Where's that cargo? I want to see if I can. S oh, this will do. Here's if I can stick it in here. We are in trouble shooting this problem yet. I should follow Liv. Yeah, I should. But I want to see if I can fit this in here. Yeah. 
Yeah, all right, that'll do. Ah, oh, there's the human. Live, right? Looks like the power failure knocked out the door to the oxygen garden. I'll pull the manual release. Ah, oh, this is the oxygen garden. I thought it was the place with all the oxygen. And of course, the access panel is stuck. Here, clip. Jack, I think you're going to have to cut through. Mm. I'll need to calibrate my reactive cutter first. Ooh, I get to right. my laser torch. Considering the power outage, let's also calibrate your entry light. Hmm. All right. Awaiting manual input for calibration. <laughs> I get to Module pet A, things. This will be cool. One. Once you have cut away enough of the panel, AD. press the follow button to complete. <laughs> All right, I'm a little disappointed that it's so perfectly square, a little Minecraft-ish, but it's probably a better design choice in the end. So move. Module H, one forty. Um. Oh my God. Left. Okay. Well done. Sup? Yes. Uh, hello. Reactive cutter and okay. lamp calibrated Shoo. successfully. Woo. Copy that. Cut through the access panel so we can pull the door release handle. All right. Yeah, got this. Safety first. Oh. Yes, that is definitely metal. Um. <clears throat> Wait, is that the same thing? The the iPad is also a torch. Okay, you're fine. Not iPad. Whatever it is. Here, hold this. Good job. Got it. I'm going in. Excellent. Follow me. Oh, sure. Let's get started. You first. Fine. Hmm. Hope you're not afraid of the dark. Maybe I am. To help me find the electrical grid maintenance panel. Are you looking away from me because of the Turn headlamp? headlamp on, Jack. It's pitch dark in here. Oh wow, you're reacting to the light. That's interesting. Yeah, these plants need light. Oh, hey. I'm coming, little robo buddy. You all right? All right, you're you're fine. If we need any extra light. Hold on, I wanna know. Hmm, I was hoping it'd be a light source. Oh well. I love touching all these non existent buttons. <laughs> it's awesome. Alright, pardon me, miss. Okay, so there's stuff floating, there's a waypoint. Alright, what are you? Senna. A button. Pressure monitor. Center pressure monitor. It's pressure and atmospheric gases. All right, fine. I'm probably going to need this a lot of the time, aren't I? It's not really in the way or nothing, so I guess we're fine. Duct tape. Awesome. Incomplete circuit detected. Probably mm. a hardware failure. Perfect. Keep your light on it for a moment while I remove the cover. Heads up, oh. Jack. Okay. <laughs> There's a little. Oh, hey. You're all right. Here, I'll get over. I'm gonna break something. All right, was it, boss? It looks like we've got some fused wiring. Uh, Status report. Sure yeah, you got lights. You're fine. We'll need to reset each of the environmental controls. Can you find the emergency junction while I sort out this mess? And yeah, know this is a spaceship and everything. You're gonna need this. You will certainly be leaving Kronos 2 with a vast surplus of duct tape, Liv. That's because duct tape fixes everything. That's what I'm saying. Everything. What? You don't think so?
Do you require assistance? Oh, I was trying to yes. scroll. No, this shouldn't be a problem. I'm training you to do this in vacuum conditions. I'll take a few tier one malfunctions any day. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? A little better now. I'm distracting myself by making a list of ways I can sneak you off to Siri. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So far, I'm down to hiding you in my luggage. That sounds uncomfortable. Can I disassemble you first? I stand by my previous statement. Yep. Okay. Let's get the junction online so we can start the diagnostics. Yes, ma'am. I feel like the light is slightly out of sync with where I'm actually looking. Portable nitrogen tank, okay. I love this! I've reached the junction mm. cover. Did you bring a spanner? Just cut through the bolts. We can deal with the cleanup after we figure out what's wrong with the station. Affirmative. Going hot. Hmm. Liv, this airlock has been inoperable for 57 days. And when that hits 64 days, it'll no longer be my problem. Ha. You mean it will be my problem. Heavy is the head that bears the crown, Jack. More duct tape. All right, let's work on this thing. Electronic interface. I'll need to use my scanner to link up with the I.O. port. Hmm. All right. Emergency power. This online. is so cool. The backup conduit only has enough juice to diagnose one system at a time. Go ahead and get started when you're ready. I am not sure what I am doing. Oh, more duct tape. More bolts. The O2 mixture is off. I'll need to adjust the levels of atmospheric exchange. Careful with that, Jack. One of us still has to breathe the air here for the next few days. Well, you should be wearing your helmet. Okay. So, uh, what's the balance supposed to be? These controls adjust the balance between oxygen oh. output and CO2 capture. Okay. Can you give me a little more to go on? These controls adjust the balance between oxygen output and CO2 capture. The air composition needs to stay balanced, Jack. All right. Bio-regenerative systems calibrated. CO2 capture optimized for both plant and mammalian passengers. Mm. <laughs> Talking some apologies. Robo trash. I didn't mean to sound clinical. Once I'm gone, you'll probably be able to shut down this part of the ring. Oh, right. I think I'll keep it actually. To add color. Jack, you aren't starting to enjoy botany, are you? <laughs> Is that mm -hmm. unusual? Depends who you ask. Hmm. Use the junction to select another system. So is this? I don't know. Transformer. The transformer. I think it's a robot. Circuit. I think it's a robot. Need to realign the coils. Run a scan to confirm. The coils have been damaged. Hmm. Parts of the coils are damaged. If I can form one complete row, I should be able to restore power flow. Okay. This handle unlocks the transformer coils so I can realign the core. Okay. Conversion coils unlocked. As long as we can still form one complete row, we should be able to get the transformer back online. I'll need to align the coils to form a complete row. Hmm. Do I... What do I do? 
hold that. I... <clears throat> Does this have any moving parts? And I am pretty sure this part glitched out on me. I got frustrated. The transformer is working properly. I should set the junction to power a new system. And it sounded like it was telling me everything was fine. So I moved on to the next thing. It's, okay, whatever. What do we got over here? I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Hi, right, little guy. All right. Oop. I'll need to cut the bolt off this cover too. The alert must have shut down water flow to the hydroponic systems. Seems like an odd uh, way to handle it. I can pump this handle to restore pressure to the irrigation system. Too much. All right. Oh. Water flow restored. Irrigation Keep system. Keep them okay here. Parameters. Fine. All right, you're over there. Let's tackle the last system. All right. Now, do I have to, like, do that first, or something, like, <clears throat> like, you have no display, so, yeah. Ooh, this <laughs> is a little alarming. Hmm. All right. Hey, what's this? LED LED light, okay. We need it in tech. The transformer is working properly. I should set the junction to power a new system. Are you sure it's working properly? Cause it's got no juice. Oh. Boss, I have no idea what to do with this. Okay, so I'm recording this part way late in the game because I just finished editing the majority of this first try. The problem I discovered is that with OBS, after I had that one uh, technical problem uh, where I couldn't move the transformer components, OBS started hiccuping real bad. Uh, frame rate went down the toilet, uh, could not keep up, could not do anything. As far as I can tell, the thing that happened with the transformer part was a glitch. I went back, I closed the game, I relaunched it, I had to replay a ton of stuff to get back to that point from the last save, but eventually when I got to that point, those transformer components moved just like they're supposed to. So why or why it didn't work for me that first time, I don't know. I actually played a lot more in the game and had that recorded, but when I was using OBS and I closed Lone Echo and brought it back, uh, OBS did not cooperate with me. Uh, the frame rate got really choppy, like it felt like one frame every 40 seconds, uh, like that. So, I mean, I still got the video of me moving around, but that you're not here for me. You're here to learn about the game. We go back, but it wouldn't be a first try anymore. But all things considered, I was thrilled with how this game played out. But you don't see enough in these VR games being able to interact with other characters, even if they're fictional. 
But in this game, you had Liv, which was basically the only other character. There was Hera, but that was just voice acting. But the character of Liv having a person your size interacting with you in a VR experience? I haven't had anything like this yet. A lot of the time it's just been these little experiences, these goofy things. You feel immersed, but you oftentimes feel completely alone. And here we are in outer space with only one other person, and this VR experience I've felt more social interaction than most anything else. Again, I am talking about fictional characters, not talking about social games with real people. I'm talking about with characters in a game. And a lot of realism with that too. As I moved around, the character came eye contact with me. There was a lot of realism I wasn't expecting. You get something more than you do with a 2D game on a normal platform where you're interacting with a character on a screen. In a lot of video games that are not VR, we've seen a lot of great characters and a lot of social developments you can have with people that are just a bunch of code in reality. And in those experiences, you can talk with them, you can often choose dialogue. They sometimes interact, like if you bump into the character, they might say, Al, few things like that. When you're talking virtual reality, that is an entirely different experience. You have a character in your face, life-size, interacting with you. That is a whole new experience, and again, I have not had much of that in virtual reality. But this is a completely artificial person, and that makes it a lot more impressive what they're doing with this. And that is just, that's a wow factor to me. So. They've done a great job on being able to develop, even if it's just the one character, to be able to build an artificial person that seems so realistic as this. And this is just an early step. There is so much more to go, so huge kudos. And it did seem kind of interesting to me. A lot of video games, you have a sidekick character. In this game, I kind of felt like I was the sidekick, and that was okay. Having, uh, being the assistant to the human, Olivia which I find this particularly hilarious. I'm a real person pretending to be an artificial intelligence, and she's an artificial intelligence pretending to be human. So it's kind of funny when you uh, look at it from that, <laughs> that aspect. Now, as much as I liked so many things about this, and you can see me singing praises in my Echo Arena video, a lot of that transfers over the locomotion, the graphics, everything else. Man, those graphics are amazing. Seeing outer space uh, like that when they first opened the sliding doors, wow. But I did have a few problems interacting with a few things. That hollow table thing took me way longer than it should have. Probably didn't help that I was on the wrong side of the table, but even so, I could not tell that button was a button at all. I thought it was just a flashing indicator. I don't think it was even flashing, if I remember right. And you have to be at just the right side angle to do it. So, I mean, I did a few errors trying to touch the thing. Nothing happened. I thought I had to go elsewhere and it just didn't work out well. Once it was established that, hey, this little glowing yellow thing is a button, then it was fine. After that, I saw more of these buttons, be it on the uh, transport ships. It was all easy peasy from that point. But that was, I was embarrassed just how long that part took me. So uh, that was a little frustrating. Other than that, I can't, I can't tell you. This is probably my favorite game. Echo Arena is still my favorite because that's some got a lot of replay value to it. But as a standalone title, this feels like a AAA experience. Way too many VR games I've seen so far are just, uh, let's put you in a room. Hey, look at the flying things over there. Blah, 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 blah. This was a game. This was a full, honest-to-goodness game. And I'm recording this way in post. I beat the game at this point, and... Not really a spoiler, but it does take a dramatic shift at uh, how the game uh, appears at one point. But all in all, I still this is my favorite. This is my favorite VR game so far. There's I've got a list of games I like, but this is a favorite. More than that, I'm recording the intro and post. You know, I just remembered I wanted to mention this. There is a tiny bit of language in this game. Nothing worse than you'd see in a PG-13 movie. Actually, less than that. Probably the worst you'd get is maybe, you know, something of the S variety and lower, nothing above. And, it, you know, it's a, it's sparse. I mean, it's around, but you get a few hours out of the game. So, in the internet, before you roll your eyes at me, I wanted to just let you all know that this is a family-friendly channel for the most part. Maybe a fart joke here or there. 
but I'm just providing the information. I'm not telling anyone what to do with it, but if there's any parents, I just want them to know what's, a, what's out there, what's available for an informed choice. That's it. So, thank you for watching me bounce around in zero gravity. I hope to make more videos like this in the near future. I've got a few plans for uh, uh, VR and non-VR titles alike. And I enjoy making these little comedy sketches at the beginning of my videos, so uh, uh, that does take a lot of time, <laughs> but it's so much fun. And I hope it's worth it for you. Now, thank you again. Please be sure to like and subscribe. These things will really help out the channel in the long run. would love it if I could uh, really develop this channel, make it popular, maybe get some ad revenue going. Mm -hmm. And uh, please, share this with friends as well. Uh, that helps get the word out and will help build my channel even further. Take care now. See you later.